felt in the day. We had some original plans to hit up Glen Rose, but you know, sometimes life throws you a curveball. And instead of going to Glen Rose, you end up at Lake Belton. Trying to hook into some smallies. So, is that new swag you're wearing? It is. Uh, it's Joe's Bait and Tackle. All the cool kids are wearing it. The four B Baits and Jig Heads logo. Yeah. On and if you're not wearing it, what's not wrong with you? In this day and age, it's always nice to have new swag. Oh, what's that? Am I, am I wearing new swag too? I have that camo 4B Baits uh, snap cap. Joel's wearing the beanie. It's gonna be a pretty chilly day, but we're safe and warm in a new swag. Thanks to Joe and, uh, and Brad for sending us this care package. Uh, we really appreciate it. We're gonna be using some of the new baits they sent us as well. We're gonna be showing that off to you guys. And uh, let's go try to catch some smallmouth today. All right, so we weren't recording because we were taking a few uh, practice casts and right away, we got into a nice little white. So two casts in, got a nice little white. Let's get it back in the water and uh, keep going. Smallmouth of the year is not a big one. I need to get a little bit bigger. We gotta beat Gino's record. So Gino has the record for the biggest uh, smallmouth out of the bus. I got the record for the smallest smallmouth. Catch up to that one, Gino. That's bait. All right, got myself a largey. We are expecting a. Oh, don't scare me like that. Sweet. His name. Well, it's not worth it. Why'd you, why'd you not just salute him? <laughs> Alright. Just looked into this bad boy. I wasn't filming because I'm kind of fishing over there and I don't want to drag the camera. But there's another one. Good size one. I think we found the juice. Alright, let's go get some more. Another small, smally. Yep, Gino just lost one too. That's how she goes sometimes. Gino! Come on! Little one! So 
So every single cast I'm making over here, I'm getting hit. Like literally every cast. But they've all been pretty small so far. Except for one I had, it was probably about 10 inches. Well, of course he got, no, probably about 12 inches, but he got off. All right. Gino's caught in a few good sized ones. We get back over here. we go this is my biggest smallmouth so far which isn't saying much because he's really not that big but i'll take it man it's the biggest one i've gotten so far there's smallmouth are stacked right here every cast i make i'm hitting one i'm gonna go i'm gonna go get a few pictures and i'll come back over here and get some more They're a decent size one again. That's a crazy. But I'm happy I'm catching them, so that's pretty awesome. We don't do a lot of smallmouth fishing. Uh, so pretty much anything over this size is record size for me or PB for me and Gino. Um, Gino still has a bigger fish than me, but I'm catching up and I'm gonna beat him and I'm determined to get a bigger one. Got myself a large mouth instead and you can see the difference between the large mouth and the small mouth and the color apparently especially but yeah get some more small mouth big one oh my god Look at that guy. Oh my gosh, that's a good smallmouth. Yeah, but I don't know how long it's gonna be working, but dang, man. <sighs> that's a good smallmouth right there. He's skinny though. Oh, gross, we just the juice stole over. He's got a cool, All right. some cool marks on his gill plate. Hold it up. Let's get that Mountain Dew thing off him. That's the biggest smallmouth we've gotten so far. Yeah, so I was using my swim bait, casting it right along the edge. And he hit, and as soon as he hit, I could tell he was hit, he was pulling real good, but I didn't know exactly what it was until I got to look at him. That's a good fish, man. He's real dark in color. Nice. All right, well, we're gonna get him back in the water. Joel, you still haven't caught one bigger than me? No, nope. I haven't. <laughs> I don't think that's as big as the first one I got, but. Uh, I don't know. I don't really remember how big that one was. That's a good fish that's for sure. A good, that's a, good that's a great, yeah, that's a great. Great catch for the day. All right. All right. GoPro was uh, completely shut off, but there's another little smallmouth. We're definitely getting them today, which is great. Um, Today's the first time we ever really caught them on a plastic before. Usually we just get them on a minnow, so it's nice to have a little mix up and get different ones on there. But let's get them back in the water. All right, I'm on a good fish. Oh, that is a good fish. What is that? White. I think it's size white, though. So everything we've caught as far as whites today have been good size. Everything else, the large mouth have been decent, but the small mouth have been pretty good size and super plentiful. We've been catching tons of small mouth out here today. On 
on another one. This one's trying to swim down. He ain't trying to come up. All right, good Smalley. This one's got a real cool dark colors around his mouth. Gosh. Another decent fish, man. Uh, I think we're doing really good out here right now, man. I wish John was here. I wish Joel was learning how to catch fish instead of uh, not really catching any over there. Let's get him back in the water. Oh, he took a dump on me. Gross fish. This is a better one. This is like a large mouth though. I do like that one. Oh, it's a white. Small mouth. Alright. Alright. Me and Joel just doubled up. Let's go. Let's get that one. Me and Joel just doubled up. We did a double doubler. We did a double doubler. Don't copy me. Du he's copying me. Double doubler is my catchphrase. <laughs> it's copywritten, so anybody who says it. <laughs> they owe you money? Oh, the camera. All right, we're looking at Joel's camera, but at the same time, my camera's up. recording too. So here we go. I just got this white. Do you know what you can show us what you got over there? Uh, well, I got a better GoPro than Joel, so let's start there. And then, uh. <laughs> That's a good size of keep four eyes. Okay. Good size smallmouth, man. Yeah, it's a good size smallmouth. Like they kiss her. Mm. <laughs> That's a little weird. Yeah. All right. So enough with this uh, shenanigans. Yeah, let's, let's get it back in the water. All right, everybody. As you can see, we've caught so many fish this day that we're going to go ahead and end this video here. We're going to make this a two-parter. We can end it with a couple more clips of Joel and I just catching some fish right out here. We started coming into a school of whites and uh, we just started pulling them out left and right. So let's watch these last few minutes. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and uh, stay tuned next week for part two.